If you haven't checked in with M. Night Shyamalan's brand of earnest filmmaking in a minute, you might have missed that the guy's been on a bit of a hot streak. For whatever jokes people might make about his twist endings or his rocky post-sixth sense years, Old found poignancy in what could be a punchline, and Glass ambitiously capped off a long-running trilogy about superherodom. Knock at the Cabin continues this run, and it's some of his best direction in years. Maybe primarily because it's the first story in a while that's felt like it can bear the weight of his skill. A family, Jonathan Groff, Ben Aldridge, and Kristen Kui, suddenly find themselves held hostage by four people who claim the only way to stop the apocalypse is for their family to willingly choose one person to sacrifice. For all its philosophical prodding, Shyamalan keeps knock at the cabin grounded and contained. Within the titular cabin, he finds angles that tell the whole story, lingering on reactions to the sorrow in order to better show the true horror at hand. Every scene feels rich, a series of individual visual narratives getting woven together into something deeply human. Most importantly to me, someone who likes to yell about movies, is the fact that not feels dense enough to bear scrutiny. Whether the sincere or ponderous or even undisguised parts of the story resonate with you almost feels beside the point. Knock at the Cabin earns its place on this list because it is a rich showcase from a director totally in control of what he's trying to say.